This video shows you how to cut an object out of a picture and add layer effect masks to them. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to use the quick selection tool, command W. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to use it and I'm going to outline the elephant. Make sure I get every area I want. And sometimes you'll, you will, your outline will venture into the area of the object. So what you need to do is press Option, and that puts a little minus on the tool. And where you click, it will revert, move the outline back. So to add, you just draw in here and to remove you just put option draw So now that you have your image selected, you are going to select inverse, command copy, new layer, command paste. Now you see that what you outlined is on the board. The next step is to make take away the color and make this more easily, easily printed on t-shirts. So do this, this is the layer mask area. Go down here and first turn it to black and white. And then play with the levels. This is the levels. Here is the white middle, gray, and black. If you move the white this way, it's going to replace the grayer values with the white. Ooh, I like that. And if you move it this way, it will replace the lighter mid values with the black. So I like this contrast right here. I feel like that has a nice contrast. And another thing you can do for more contrast is put on the polarizing effect. So here is your image that has been cut out and had effects to make it more black and white. Now we're going to put a background on it. So we're going to go new layer. Okay. Move the layer down here. And G for the paint bucket. Fill it in. Oh, well, number one, the, the elephant layer needs to be on top. Oh, but it's not green. So what we need to do is press Option and link up each of these masks to this layer that we want it to affect. So you press Option. You, when you see the two circles overlapping, you click. You'll get the arrow, meaning that it's connected to here. You'll get the options. 
and option. All these arrows point down telling you that it's now a part of the layer. And this is part one 